Hi Stampers, this is Kim Tolbert with Great Inspirations. Thank you for joining me. As all of you know, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I have a copy of the new annual catalog. This is Stampin' Up!'s annual catalog that will go live on May 3rd of 2022. And it will be, um, the products in this catalog will be available until at least April of 2023. Now, I've already showed you some of the items that are in the catalog in my last video, but this time I thought we would take an in-detail look at one of the product suites, and it's called Tea Boutique. Now, what's special about this suite of products is it includes all of the brand new in colors for 2022 through 2024. As some of you know, every year Stampin' Up! introduces five new in colors and they are around for two years, which means that every year we also lose five colors. But this year, the colors we have, I really like. They're bright, they're beautiful, they're new, they're just fresh. I really like them, and I know I'm going to enjoy creating with them. But let's take a look at this great suite of products that will be offered in this catalog. First of all, we have the Cup of Tea stamp set. As you can see, it has a couple of teacup images, a lemon or a lime wedge, some greenery, a few floral images, and some sentiments. And there are also uh, a couple of little tags, kind of like a tea tag. And then to go with this stamp set, there are, of course, dies. And there are dies that will cut out all of these images. And then there are a few other dies as well, such as um, these two little heart dies and then this little trio of hearts. There are two dies that are quite intricate, and that would be this teacup one and the little detail for the lemon slice. Let me show you. I've stamped out the images here in some ink, some color. Maybe it gives you a little perspective, a little better perspective than the black and white. But you can see there are some teeny tiny um, sentiments and they fit great on this little tag that you could attach to maybe some um, baker's twine and have it hanging out of your teacup for a nice little message that's so sweet enjoy to from or I just can't thank you enough that is really tiny and then I miss you and it's time for tea and the, of course there are larger sentiments thank you take care of yourself let's get together soon and thank you for our friendship and then here's a look at what the die cuts look like. As you can see, this die cut mimics this. Here's what the image looks like stamped. And then here's what the image looks like if you were to die cut it and glue this and this one together. That's what they look like separately. And then, as you saw, the one die that cuts the three little hearts is just one die. And then the die that cuts these images, it's one die. There are multiples, two actually, of this little teeny tiny tag die, and of this floral image, the hearts, and these little leaves, which cuts out this image. Now to go along with the dies and the stamp set, there's designer series paper. It's called the Tea Boutique designer series paper, and it does feature the five in colors. This, however, is <laughs> Fresh Curry, which is not an ink color, but it goes very well with many of the new ink colors. 
and this has um, the, our um, orchid, the darker purple, it's called Orchid Oasis. And this reddish color here, it's called Sweet Sorbet. Those are two of the new in colors. This is some of the Orchid Oasis. Teapots. This is petal pink. Here's some of the sweet sorbet. This, the stripes, those are the parakeet party, a new in color. This, darker color, it's starry sky, another new in color. Here's some teacups with the starry sky the Sweet Sorbet, and the Parakeet Party. More of the Crushed Curry and some Stripes. This is Fresh Freesia, which was an in color last year. Pretty flowers. More of the Petal Pink. This is the same design as the floral pattern. This is in the envelopes, similar. Fresh Freesia, some lemons, always goes nicely with tea. This is our new in color, Tahitian Tide, and teapots. More petal pink, greenery, Orchid Oasis, some pretty teapots and Orchid Oasis, and the Fresh Freesia, more of that Sweet Sorbet, and some more teacups. The final item included in this suite of products are the Tea Boutique cards and envelopes. I really like these cards. They come pre-scored. All you have to do is fold them. Of course, they're white on the back, white inside, and they have coordinating envelopes, and these envelopes I thought were really nice because this nice little floral pattern is not only here but at the top if you fold the envelope and turn it over you'll see there's part of the floral pattern here and here as well as some nice color on the flap and of course these come for each four no or four card bases and four envelopes each in the five in colors so you will have 20 total and here is the Starry Sky, the Tahitian Tide, the Parakeet Party, Orchid Oasis, and the Sweet Sorbet. Now, I made some cards on those note cards because I, like I said, I just, or I keep wanting to call them note cards. They are not note cards. These, at first I thought they were six by four. And then I read again, no, and they are also not note cards. They are a regular A2 size cards, which means when this card is folded, this measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And the envelopes are the A2 size envelopes or in um, Stampin' Up! Lingo, the medium envelope. So this card design, I basically copied right out of the catalog on page 12 with a brand new catalog. I thought it was really cute. I did change up a few things. Number one, colors. And I did my die cutting a little differently. But here it is in the um, Starry Sky. The Sweet Sorbet. Tahitian Tide. The Parakeet Party. And the Orchid Oasis. I've tried and tried to pick a favorite color, and I really don't have a favorite color this year. I love them all. Usually I do have a favorite color, but not this year. But I want to talk a little bit about if you did want to design this card. Like I said, it's on page 12 of the Stampin' Up! 2022 to 2023 annual catalog. And just a few little tricks that I use to make the card. I'm not sure of the cutting measurements that um, the designer of the card used. But what I did for this, I just took a piece of basic white that was two and three quarters inches by four inches because I thought that gave a nice 
border and allowed a lot of that card base to shine through. And then all I did was put the focal image together and then put it on the card base using dimensionals. But a couple little tricks. The first thing I did was to stamp the greeting. And in this case, the take care of yourself. And I just thought this was a great card because you could send it as a get well card or you know, if someone's un going under stress or there's just a lot going on in their lives, it's a just sweet little reminder to, you know, make time for yourself and take good care of yourself as well. So I really like that sentiment. But for this card, as I said, the first thing I did was I placed my sentiment because that was going to help me decide where to put everything else. Because I need to get not only my teacup in here, but I also need to have space for my greenery and my flowers. And then of course there's the lemon. So how I did this was I took this die, the one that just cuts out the teacup, and I cut out a teacup in, with just printer paper. And I placed it where I thought would be best on my focal image, my focal man pa panel, and then, okay, I need to stamp the greenery, so I have that stamp right here. Thought, well, we'll use some parakeet party, and I'm pretty sure you can see what I've done. After I inked it up, I was able to, now you could put, you know, hold this down with some masking tape or something if you're masking tape. I'm sorry, washi tape or something. A masking tape would work. It's low-tech, some kind of low-tech um, tape or adhesive. But I just laid it there because I'm just going to stamp once. But I just wanted to mask off part of the image so it would look more like it was coming out of the cup. There we go. And then that gave me great placement for my cup and my greenery. Go ahead and we'll put this on there. There we go. And then it's time to stamp the floral image. Now this floral image, I worked and worked and worked to try to get everything to line up. And I looked at the sample in the catalog, and it, it doesn't, didn't line up. I thought, oh, that's okay. You just need to give the idea or the illusion of those little flowers are coming from the greenery. So what I found was this image to the far left. If you line it up with this second stem of greenery, it kind of helps everything else kind of fall in place. Like I say, they don't match up perfectly, but they kind of fall in place. And I liked it. I was happy with that. So that's what I went with. And that is how I put together the focal panel for these cards. Now again, this these cards were made using the T Boutique cards and envelopes and the T Boutique stamp, or the, uh, it's not called T Boutique, it's called Cup of Tea Bundle, which includes the Cup of Tea stamp set and the um, teacup dies, and also, of course, the in color ink pads. And there we go. Four beautiful cards, and it didn't take long at all to make them. Plus, I, I just, like I said, I just love these colors. They're great, they're new, they're fresh. And I really do like this bundle, because I really do like tea. That's one of my favorite things to drink. However, I usually don't drink hot tea. I drink iced tea. That's just how I am, even herbal tea. Any kind of tea, I'll drink it iced. Once in a while in the winter, I'll have a little hot tea. <laughs> but anyway, I still, I love teacups. And I really, like I said, I really like these end colors. And this is a great bundle of products. So thank you for joining me. And until next time, stamp happy.